the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. And veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara, and the king, yes, the king. Suffering drought and fire, the animals of the high country now find themselves lashed by storm and heavy rain. Heavy rains often cause normally dry, dusty roads to become dangerous and hazardous for any traveler. Yummy berries, Mew. Mmm, very yummy, ye. And look, there's a whole lot more over there. Oh, come and have a look at this, Mew. What do you think it is? Oh, I've no idea. I've never seen one of these before. Me neither. <laughs> Typical, typical. Can't get a good sleep in no matter what. Nothing but noise, noise, noise. <laughs> oh, well. Might as well get an early start now that I'm awake. Have an early breakfast. Mm. <laughs> ah, shut up, you giggling imbecile. <laughs> If it's not gang gangs, it's flaming feather brained cookabubbers. Hey, eh? what's that? <laughs> Definitely heard something that time. Something big, like a brumby. And it's following me. Come out and show yourself, I know you're there. Won't come out, eh? <laughs> typical, typical. Can't walk through the bush, mind my own business, without being stalked by a brumby. <laughs> Just so big! Oh, I couldn't believe my eyes! And the roar! It was so loud it made the leaves shake on the trees! And the teeth! You should have seen the teeth! Big and sharp! Hmm. 
Doesn't sound like anything I've ever seen. What do you make of it, Benny? Judging by the description and allowing for exaggeration, there's only one thing it could be, Thara. A large wild cat. <coughs> a large wild cat? Oh, you gotta be joking. No cat ever grew to that size. Though it kind of looks like one. A huge, shaggy wild cat. Oh, yeah, a huge wild cat with huge teeth and a huge roar. <laughs> Hear that distant roar? For the creatures of the high country, there's a shock in store. <clears throat> oh, no flaming pussycat, giant or otherwise, ever got the better of old Wombat. Family, follow me. <laughs> Wombats, <laughs> push! <laughs> hey, that pussy cat! That'll take care of him for the moment. Yes, but he could be back meaner and angrier than ever. We must be on our guard. Again. What brings you back to these parts? Keep your shirt on, old timer. We're here on legitimate business this time. We got a job with the circus. Yeah. Have you heard about that lion that's on the loose? Lion? So that's what it was. Well, I haven't seen it, but I've certainly heard it. Yeah? Where? It escaped along with a few elephants and giraffes. But we got them back. It's our job to get it. Dead or alive, I suppose. That's right. Have gun will travel. <laughs> but there's a bonus in it if it's alive, see? They're worth money, those big cats, you know. Yeah, really? Yeah, who knows what damage it could inflict on the wildlife. That's right. Well, it sounded like it was somewhere up near the Sentinel. But uh, who knows where it is by now? Well, that'll do for starters. Thanks, mate. Who says trappers don't have their uses, eh? Blimey. Who'd ever have believed I'd be helping those two? Never seen anything that looked like that before, boy. Looks dangerous. It's bad enough hearing the giant cats growl without the trappers being on the prowl. Hey, mate, did you hear that? Yes, yeah, so I what? That lion sounds pretty ferocious and pretty close. Don't worry about a thing, mate. This time tomorrow, he'll be safely in that cage on the back of the ute. Yeah, well, I just hope he realises that it's us that's hunting him and not the other way round. Wake up! I sense danger! 
Quickly! Run for your lives! Cats chasing dogs, whatever next. Master, master! Carawan, what is it now? Giant cat on the rampage, holy haughtiness. Giant cat? <laughs> so what did it do, Carawan? Eat a giant mouse? <laughs> Laugh if you will, sire, but I kid you not, this is the most frightening creature ever to set foot in the high country. Just how frightening can a pussycat be, Karawong? And of what possible interest could it be to me? Well, mighty monarch, uh, we all know you are king of the Cascade Brumbies. Yes? Well, well, you see, this thing has the potential to be king. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> king of everything. <laughs> king of the jungle, so to speak. Do you dare suggest, Karawong, that some miserable flea-bitten cat could steal my thunder? Huh? <laughs> That's him, sire. Uh, perhaps this warrants further investigation. Where do you suppose such a creature could come from, Benny? Beats me. Never in all my years in the high country have I heard of anything like it. Cats which have gone wild can be a pest as it is, but if they're all going to grow to this size, we're in big trouble. We'll just have to hope it's a freak of nature. Opuk! Opuk! Hi, Mopoke. Any news? The giant wild cat had the dingoes on the run. They were saved by the man and his noisy gun. His gun? What happened? The bullet only caused him to flee. The cat's demise was not to be. Hmm. We'd best go our separate ways and spread the word. Mopoke, could you get airborne and act as a lookout? I'll take off and observe from the air. Perhaps I'll discover the giant cat's lair. Right, Karawong. Get down here. Your wish is my command, sire. Good. I'm glad that's understood. Now, all I want you to do is stand right here. And you're not to move. Not to move, sire? That's right. And you're to call out, Pussy, Puss, Puss. Pussy, Puss, Puss. That's right. And under no circumstances are you to move. Understood? Uh, but the giant cat might hear me, sire, saying pussy, puss, puss. That's the general idea, Karawong. Uh, but, but, but the creature's big teeth, sire. <laughs> I might get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Karawong. I'll be right behind those bushes. As soon as it arrives, I'll jump out and give it a thrashing it'll never forget. Oh, but, sire, it moves with the speed of lightning. You don't realize you haven't seen it in action, have you? <laughs> Stay right here and don't move. Is that understood? But, but is that understood? Aye, aye, sire. Good. Good. 
right, Karawong. Yell out. Yell out, I said. Pause, pause, pause. Louder, Karawong. Uh, pause, pause, pause. Louder. Pause, pause, pause. Ooh. Mighty Brolga, you'll find you have much to fear if you care to look to your rear. to your moth-eating excuse for a floor rug. The giant wildcat's been heard roaring its head off over near the Sentinel. The Sentinel? The Brolgers' territory. If that cat meets up with him, he may well end up feeling sorry for himself. The Brolga's not one to trifle with. <laughs> yeah. I showed him a thing or two about trifling with wombats. Mopoke. Mopoke. Hi, Mopoke. Anything to report? I've just seen something I'll tell you no lies. It was so amazing I could scarcely believe my eyes. Huh? What was it? The Brolga forced to run for his life. The giant cats caused him no end of strife. The Brolga run for his life? That would have been something to see. Oh, yes, but it has serious implications for the rest of us, I'm afraid. I know what you mean, Thara. If it can defeat the Brolga, there's not a single creature in the high country that's safe. Yes, but I've been giving the problem some thought, Benny. Oh? And you come up with an idea? It's a long shot, but it just might work. I'll need your help, Wombat. And yours also, Mopoke. And Kookaburras as well. The giant cats emerged into the sun. Now's a good time to make your run. Good luck, Tara.
Oh. Let me out of here. Let you out? Why should we? Yes, you've been a very bad cat. Running amok through the high country, chasing animals and scaring them. A cat? Who are you calling a cat? You miserable old wallaby? Wallaby? Who are you calling a wallaby? Don't you know a grey kangaroo when you see one? Of course I do, but I just thought I'd see how you liked it. So if you're not a cat, what are you? I'm a lion, of course. A very hungry lion. <laughs> ah, of course, a lion. I've heard of them. I was born and bred in a circus, but kind of escaped, whether I liked it or not. Now it all makes sense. But none of this is an excuse for you terrorizing the creatures of the high country. Lions are born to hunt. We've got a right to live too. But the only life I know is circus life. I didn't ask to come here. All I want to do is get back home to a good feed. I'm hungry. Hmm, he does have a point, Thara. He's just a victim of circumstance. Yes, I guess so. But I don't know how to get him out of there. What goes down doesn't necessarily come up. <laughs> so I'm to be stuck here till I starve to death? <laughs> it's not fair, and it's not my fault. <laughs> now, Alec, don't get upset. I'm sure we'll think of something. Lions in this world are all too few. I think the old prospector would know what to do. Good thinking, Mopoke. Come on, Thara. Let's go and fetch him. <laughs> thought the lion was such a ferocious thing, but as it turned out, he had very little sting. <laughs> <laughs> All that glitters is not gold, and the creatures of the high country had now learnt that the opposite was also true. That which at first seems frightening may not be so. It may just appear that way. But the stormy weather that had brought the lion was yet to bring more trouble to the high country. <laughs> <laughs>